Flat Header X. Installing Arctic Accelero Hydrid VGA cooler onto a Radon XFX7870. Here's the XFX video card. It's actually, it wasn't a bad uh, coin system on already, but I wanted to just give it a little bit more, so I went ahead and got the uh, liquid coin system for it. Um, it's actually a nice coin system already built onto it, but just wasn't what I wanted. So first you start by removing all the screws for the, the front plate. Once you have the front plate removed, go ahead and remove the screws holding the metal plate on the top. There should be two screws on either side that uh, you take out to remove this plate. Once a plate's removed, you can see Hello. the double decooling system that the uh, have with uh, the card from the factory. Mm, yeah. um, to remove this, there's uh, quite a few screws that are on the bottom of the card. You need to remove all these screws, and there'll be four main screws holding the, um, the CPU cooling plate. Um, those are really hard to get off, so I actually had to use pliers to loosen them and then take them out with a screwdriver. Once all the screws are removed, uh, you want to make sure that you disconnect the power to the fans. And then you have to wiggle the, the coin system a little bit and pry it off and it should come off pretty easy. Now you're left with 
just the video card itself, uh, no uh, cooling system at all. You will have some um, thermal compound on the CPU or the GPU. Uh, you want to go ahead and clean it off really carefully. Use um, I used alcohol and uh, Q-tips, but just make sure not to get it anywhere, but um, just remove it from the chip itself. Now here's the Accelero Hybrid uh, graphics card cooling system. Um, once it's unboxed, you'll see that uh, it has the uh, fan for the radiator, the radiator, the um, cooling plate itself, and then uh, a cover with the fan built onto it. Um, you open up uh, the box that comes with it, a small box, and it has all the heat sinks. You're going to take these heat sinks, and there's way more heat sinks than are needed, so you just have to choose which heat sinks are going to fit on your uh, um, chipped correctly. You want to lay it all out to make sure that everything fits right. And it comes with its own um, thermal compound and an extra plate for the back. I didn't have to use the compound on the plate. Guide that you want to lay on top of your processor and that, that just lets you know where you want to have your heat sinks uh, go to, not any closer than that. Then lay out your heat sinks and make sure that everything fits uh, where it's supposed to. Now you want to put your um, um, glue onto the back of each heat sink, just a little bit will do, just enough to really um, cover the chip. Um, here you see I put a little bit too much on there, but as long as it's not going over each of the chips. So now you take each of your heat sinks and you pretty much glue them. You want to push it down with a little bit of pressure and uh, make sure they're not going past the guide. So do this with all the chips that you're going to see. You have your memory chips and you have a few other chips that you're going to do it on. And after you put these, uh, put these heat sinks on, you have to let it sit for at least a half an hour. Now you see three rubber grommets. Uh, you need to put those on the inside of the plastic cover in three different spots. Um, those are just kind of a cushion for where the, um, the actual uh, CPU cooler is. Now you want to take the cooling block itself and insert it um, in the spot in the plastic cover. You make sure that you have the orientation of the, the cooling tubes. Uh, either going to the front or back, you need to choose which way your card's going to be set up and which way you want them to go. So you just put the cooling block in, make sure it kind of snaps into place, and uh, make sure the orientation of the tubes are correct. Then you're going to take uh, four screws and you're actually going to screw the, the coin block itself into the top of the cover.
once the cooling block's in place, you want to take a washer and a set screw, um, and you're going to use this to secure the cooling tubes. you'll need to plug in the power cable for the pump on the cooling block. Your kit will come with two different size white plastic spacers. You're going to use the smaller of the two and put the sticky tape that it comes with on the back of each of these. You want to take these four and put one on top of each of the correct holes on the corner of the cooling block. Now you want to apply um, your thermal compound onto the processor itself. Don't put too much on there. You want enough so it has a full contact but not so much that it's going over the edges. Now very carefully you want to take your video card and actually place it on top of the cooling block. Make sure all four holes line up and just very gently put it on. Now you need to put the four black spacers on top of each one of the holes. You need to apply the black foam right into the center of where the four screws are. I went ahead and set each of the screws into each of the black spacers just to make sure everything lined up. Then afterwards you want to take those screws out and put the mounting plate right on top of the foam and put each one of the screws in. After the mounting plate's on you want to tighten the screws up a little bit at a time. You don't want to do any one screw too much so you know, tighten each one just a little bit until all four are tight. Now you need to connect the power cable for your fan. Now you want to put the end plate back on and you're finished. Once everything's finished, you want to take a look inside and make sure none of the heat sinks are actually touching any of the plastic plate that's on top. 